nice if we could find some vector that goes between them, right? Well, let's look at what happens when we do some subtraction. So let's write down the vector 3, 1 and the vector 1, 3. What happens if we subtract them? Well, just like addition, we go element-wise. So it's 3 minus 1. It is 2. And what's 1 minus 3? It is negative 2. Well, what's special about this vector? Well, if we look at it, it should go out a little bit and up a little bit. So it should be something like this, right? Well, what happens when we draw that vector at the tip of our two vectors? So we'll draw it here. And there's not really anything interesting to observe about it there. How about if we draw it here? Hmm, isn't that interesting? So it turns out that subtraction finds the vector from second to first. So we wrote our vectors like this, right? Where we were subtracting the red one from the blue one. So we found the vector from the red one to the blue one. If we did it the other way around, so we did one, three, minus 3, 1, we would instead find negative 2, 2, which is the same vector, and let's, let's highlight it in orange, but going the opposite way when drawn at the tip of the blue vector.